Hey, welcome in. In an effort to really make my channel feel more like me, I'm going to share some of my interests with you guys. Starting with my guilty pleasure, blind boxes. And to spice things up some more, whatever I get, I'll draw in my style. Let's get started. Today, the blind boxes I'll be opening are from Kick of Goods. This video is not sponsored by Kick of Goods. I just happened to order the blind boxes from their website. Let me introduce you to the blind boxes I'll be opening today. These are BJD blind boxes. I bought two blind boxes from the Honey Sweet Dreamland series, and one box from the UF Special series. Although I really like blind boxes, I try to get blind boxes where I wouldn't mind pulling anything from the series, just to up my chances at getting a figure, or in this case a doll, that I just really like. However, I bought two blind boxes from the Honey series because I really, really want to get this little guy. So much for being chill with whatever I get. Alright, let's open up one of the Honey series blind boxes first. I'm so excited! I really love the design of the box. This pull tab is also really convenient. Let's turn the box over for an even bigger surprise. Okay, and the first doll we pulled is... Bubble Rabbit! She's the doll featured on the front of the box. The first thing in the box is this instructions manual. You also get the dimensions of the doll in here. Very convenient. And this really cute holographic identification card. Bobo Rabbit's adorable little outfit. Extra set of hands and cute little shoulder bag. And here she is, Bobo Rabbit herself. So unfortunately, I didn't manage to record any of the other unboxings, but I did manage to get this really cute footage of my cat Evie on my desk while I was unboxing everything. Anyway, what I do have are some recordings of all the dolls together. The dolls we ended up pulling are Cute Hamster from the Honey series and Colorful Fruit Tea from the UF doll series. I did manage to film some close-ups of the dolls for you guys, so here we go. We'll be starting off with Bobo Rabbit. I love the Honey series having removable magnetic hands. That's so neat. Let's get a zoom in on these beautiful eyes. I love the cute little paw print detail. Here's cute hamster. Oh, she's so adorable. I love her expression. Her outfit is so cute. These dolls are able to stand up by themselves, by the way. They have a good weight to them. And here's colorful fruit tea. Very cute outfit. Look at the bow. Love the ruffles on the dress. This doll comes with an extra set of animal ears and some extra hands and feet. I love all these details. And here they are all lined up together. They look so sweet. I love them. Alright, now let's get into the speed paint. I think the dolls we pulled today are really sweet looking, especially with a lot of their pastel colors. I imagine if they were to hang out together, they'd go to the amusement park and get on some roller coasters and after walking around for a while, take some pictures together. So the vibe of this drawing is pictures at the amusement park. I wanted to stay a bit truer to the style of the dolls in this piece, so it's kind of a blend of the doll style and my style. While the speed paint plays in the background, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my love of dolls. My favorite doll series is Monster High. I've been really loving the Gen 3 design. I've been collecting quite a few already. My favorite Gen 1 doll is Katarine Demu, and my favorite Gen 3 doll so far has been Draculaura. Side note, I currently have a Draculaura from the Creepover series on my manga shelf, and a Draculaura and Frankie from the Scared Eye series on my desk. I hope to one day display all of my collection of all of my little interests. If and when I do, I'll be sure to show all of you. I've always wanted a BJD. By the way, BJD stands for Ball Jointed Doll. Ball Jointed Dolls are, well, ball jointed and are created by fantastic artists for collectors and customizers, which means that they tend to be more on the expensive side and I thought I'd never be able to own one until I found out about BJD blind boxes and it was all downhill from there. 
My favorite type of blind box, by the way, is the remit ones. You know the ones, the super detailed, semi-functional mini furniture and appliances. Ah, I love those. I have a few from the Hatsune Miku room set that I put into a little diorama. It's really cute. I also have a really big love for the doll customizing community. My favorite doll customizer is Delightful. I love them so much. I've been watching them for years and one day I hope to customize my own little doll mini me. Actually, the reason why I got the UF doll was to eventually customize them in the future if I had time. <laughs> if and when that happens, I will show you guys. I might make it into a YouTube video, depending on how well that goes. Back to the speed paint though, it did prove to be quite the challenge. I don't normally work in pastels, and I had a really hard time trying to get the colors right, so I took quite a break from this piece for a while. And when I came back, I just decided to bring out more of my own style and bring out more of these like harsher, deeper tones. And I actually really like how it ended up coming together. Here's the final look. Let me know what you guys think. Although it was a bit of a challenge, I think they all look super sweet and I'm really happy with how it came out. Thanks for watching. And now for my after video wrap up. This video did take me quite a while to finish. I've actually been really busy in my IRL waking life, so I haven't been able to work on any kind of videos for a while. I've been sitting on the recordings for this for almost a month and a half now, which is really unfortunate, but I'm so happy that it finally came together and I'm able to share this with you guys. I was actually going back and forth a lot about uploading this video and actually finishing it, so I'm really happy you guys actually get to see it. If anything, the long break paid off in me having some fresh new eyes to look at the piece and edited it a bit more to my style, so I'm very happy with that. And thank you so much if you came to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see another part to this series, and I can't wait to share more with you in the future. I just want to give a huge thank you to all of my coffee supporters. I really, really cannot do this without your guys' support. Thank you so much for being here and for helping out with the channel. It means a lot. If you would like to become a coffee supporter, check out the link in my description. I have a bunch of links there as well to my other socials. Check out my Twitter, my Instagram, and consider joining the Discord. But that's it for me. Have a good one, and take care.